All right, welcome back everybody. So we have a decomposition tube here out of a uh, older Freightliner Cascadia with a uh, Cummins ISX-15. So a customer came in with NOx conversion efficiency issues or SCR conversion efficiency issues, uh, same thing. He had a bad NOx sensor, first of all. So we got a machine we actually hooked up and tested that, ran it through its cycles and it's failed. But I seen some leaks on this tube on uh, one of the clamps. I figured we'd pull it off. And supposedly somebody replaced the DEF doser last year so i was kind of looking at it and it looked like there was a lot of uh, crystallization of def on the sides of it and it was uh, perforated here which we'll zoom in and you can see that a little bit closer but we're going to look inside this and actually show you if, if this nozzle doesn't have the proper spray pattern or pressure basically the way that it injects it into this tube it's uh, it's not going to do what it's supposed to do and you're going to have low conversion efficiency which will throw that code on a Cummins. So we're gonna take a look at this here real quick and uh, show you what the problem is. One more thing, uh, as you see behind me, a bunch of red machines. Uh, we've gotten into the DPF cleaning business uh, so we can actually do a whole one box. There are a lot of places don't have the capacity to do, but we can actually clean the DOCs and the SCRs and the entire one boxes for a Freightliner, plus any other filters that you may or may not have. And uh, also we uh, got a TIG welding station set up so we can weld in temp sensor bungs and, and all that type of stuff. And also we carry a complete uh, product line with, uh, we got your gaskets, temp sensor, pressure sensor bungs, and uh, also aftermarket brand new uh, DPFs. We ship nationwide. So if, uh, if you need anything, uh, check out the information below, give us a call. We'll help you out. We we'll do the best we can. And uh, I mean, if you got a filter you need cleaned, we're pretty reasonable on prices. You could have it shipped into us. We clean it, ship back out to you, pretty quick turnaround. So like I said, check out the information below. So this doser sits right here like this. And the first thing that tipped me off, one of the reasons I wanted to mess with this is that this bolt was just stuck in like that. And it was actually, this spacer, it wasn't even tight. Um, and then I noticed that they obviously, if this was new, they obviously didn't replace this gasket here. As you can see, the rust and the way it's the perforation of that. So it was, if somebody replaced the doser, they obviously didn't take this bracket off and uh, take that gasket off. So we'll take that off real quick here. Then some of these don't have this little guard, but this one does. So that obviously wasn't taken off. And the gasket just fell, it just broke in half. <laughs> so this should be a straight hole here. And you can see it's, it's basically crystallized up with def. So you can see what that hole should be and what it was. Um, so the, this, when you buy this injector or doser, it comes with the new gasket and everything. So there's no reason not to replace it other than you don't know what you're doing or just pure laziness, I guess, or don't want to do the job right. But this is obviously, this has never been replaced or hasn't been replaced in a very long time. So you saw how that was crystallized up. Now, if you look inside the tube, you can see all that white stuff. So it's basically, instead of atomized or vaporizing the def, it's spraying it up on the top so you're not getting the right air air mixture with the def and all that type of stuff so it's not going to get the proper efficiency so this is just one of the many things that we see when we see an SCR conversion efficiency type code um, is because this isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing or this is all crystallized up the way that was crystallized up if you didn't replace this gasket if you throw a new injector on there you're, you're not correcting the problem but unfortunately the way this is calcified up that nozzle um, we're gonna have to replace that again so so if you're seeing that uh, type of code uh, that's probably one thing you should probably look at so that's pretty much all I got for today guys um, if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, like the video hit the bell for the update